everyone, and welcome to the next part of Let's Play Star Ocean, The Last Hope. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. Um, in the last part, we talked to the king in Astral and did Sarah's funeral bouquet. In this part, we're gonna work on our some Coliseum side quests. So what I've kind of figured is I'm gonna do these Coliseum side quests, I'm gonna farm my funeral bouquets, I'm gonna show the funeral bouquet stuff, and I'm gonna go do the final world. And after that, like, this will probably become the side LP with Crisis Core becoming, uh, the main LP? Uh, well, the secondary LP, the, um, Legend of Dragon. And, yeah, that's kind of what I figure. So anyways, what you want to do is you want to pick a character. And then pick the survival set. And there's a perfectly good reason for this. Hey, next match versus Puffy, Miss Puffy's lovely guy, blah blah blah. blah. Sponsor is Miss Puffy, daughter of the owner of the Coliseum. Facing off is Sarah. Blah 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 blah. Let's fight. So, anyways, if you recall, we need to lose to this per to this fight. However, the easiest way to do this is actually um, using Gamble Berries because otherwise. You are gonna be here a while. And. Oh god. See? Just like that. That's the easiest way to. Um. Lose that fight. Thankfully, it wasn't like my last attempt at doing this, and uh, I'm only gonna. Sarah's lost the match, blah blah blah. blah. But yeah, I think this is basically going to become the side LP once I beat the game and all the, all the side stuff, all the bonus dungeons, all the rest of the quests, all that will be as uh, a side LP and all that. So, yeah. It's for the better, you say that? What? Uh, yeah, it's for the better. So anyways, this is a freaking... I will definitely tell you guys, this for sure is probably like... A, this is like a super long game. I am already predicting like... I'm guessing 110, 120 parts to finish this LP just for the main storyline, which is right now my main focus is doing the main storyline. It's not um, doing the bonus stuff. I will do the bonus stuff, however, don't worry. Like I said, I will be doing it. And I will be doing hopefully all of it. I can't make any promises about the second bonus dungeon. We just haven't even beat on the PS3 version, which I'll probably just do on this file. Bad results, well done. Hopefully this will be necessary for my daughter to make her come home. I have no idea why she obsessed about the tournament so much. Might be some of the influence my husband's given her. Maybe. But yeah, after that, Crisis Core will become the main LP. And if this isn't done by the time Crisis Core is done, because honestly, Crisis Core is in a long game. I'm predicting 40 parts, maybe, for the game. And that's... Well, that's doing at least as much as I can. Hopefully all 300 missions in that. But, uh, you don't want to run away from the ha building. You want to go back in the building. But yeah, enough ranting about that. You guys don't want to hear that. Especially since if you're watching this in, like, the future and stuff. I'll stand for this mother. The competitors fighting my warrior. They were plainly throwing the match in my favor. We were using healing items. Yeah. It's, it's almost as if... As if you hired him to let me win, mother. So I did. And... Huh? So you planned all this from the start? Listen, uh... Silence, I'm in a discussion here. Ah, you. You're the ones who lost to me on purpose, aren't you? I'll never forget this up front. I will move into the team rankings. Yes, the team rankings. And we'll move fairly... We'll fight fairly this time. Be waiting for you in the Coliseum. No refusals, no escapes. Come to me, you. Okay. Well, take care now. Come on, chop chop. Uh, um, yeah, can I heal my, uh, healer first? Ugh. Because I apparently want to sneeze while I'm doing that. So anyways, now I'm in my menu, you might notice that I am a bit higher level. I need to check something real quick. Oh, god, this is really good. Uh, okay. I ignore that. Anyways, we want to go to Coliseum, and this is why I was asking for your guys' input on what I should name my team. And there was one suggestion that came in that I really liked, and does kind of fit my personality, and... Yeah. It does sound like something I would say. So... 
It is the winner of the team name. Um, let me pull up the name so I can get this. I'll also put it on the video, assuming I remember. Hopefully I remember to put this on the video. Ah, uh, the winner is... Let's go back up here. There's another challenge from Miss Puffy again. Ugh. Must be tough being a popular guy, huh? Hang in there. Right, you, you, I need a team name first for you to participate. You can try to come up with a cool one you just write in the lamest one you think of and be all grumpy about it later. Do whatever you like. Once you've chosen a name, you cannot change it. So yeah, this is the winner of the name. I really should have pulled this up before I started recording. So yeah, I want to thank you all for your suggestions. They're all great. But this one was like really fitting. There were some also, some other awesome ones in there. I'll toss them in the description along with who said them. But overall, like, all of them were really great. So, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for the suggestions. But, anyways, the, the winner is from Alexander CNS. It is Koopo Crisis. This one, like, I don't know. It kind of fits me. I really should plug in my keyboard. Haha. <laughs> Koopo was already in there. Koopo. Crisis. Yes, this is the team name, the name we will be using for the Coliseum, which we will have more stuff to do. Yes, Koopo Crisis is okay. So yes, thank you, Alexander CNS, for your name, and thanks everyone else for the suggestions. Like I said, they're all great. Um, so yeah. Anyways, what we want to do is, I think we can just take, I'm just gonna take the curative set because we actually want to win this one, if I recall correctly. And of course, this is the team one. Special treats today, they're new, they're powerful, they're a bit creepy. They're the team run by Miss Puffy, daughter of the Coliseum's honor. Challenge future champions is the team known as Koopa Crisis. Two great competitors fighting out once more. Fight! Yeah, so we have two scumbags and two golems to fight now. And these really aren't that hard, and I am really getting annoyed with the fact Arhomet keeps knocking shit out of my range. I don't know why I never noticed this before. But yeah. Um, not really hard, as you would imagine. But Coliseum does get hard later on, trust me on this. Do, 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 do. Hi! Oh, bye, scumbag. I was about to say hi to you. So. And they won! A couple crises has emerged victorious! Miss Puffy's little bite may have lost, but put him in a match. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go! Congrats! You fought so well, it made me feel kind of good. Why don't you go lord it over Miss Puffy for a bit? She will make all kinds of funny faces at you. Yeah, she'll probably be really pissed, actually. That's my bet. Yep. That is my guess, is that she is going to be pissed that she lost to us. But let's go talk to her and see her reaction. So we can find out. Hello, we're back. Hi. E, why? Why can't I defeat you? These are some seriously experienced fighters. You can gather all the lackeys at your disposal, but that won't be enough to, to beat them. <laughs> uh, thanks. Oh, that was it. I was the mom. <laughs> Just you wait. Some of the greatest army in the world has ever known. You will go down hard. Hard, I say. Yeah, she isn't that happy that she lost again. I'm not letting you get oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm losing my voice here. Uh, I think this is the sign that we have another quest. I'm pretty sure there's three quests here. I might be wrong, but let's go back inside and find out. Maybe find out. Um, okay. Hi, we're back. Oh, <laughs> Previous matches were nothing more than the warm up. Real battle is just beginning. Try and beat me if you can. We should meet again in the Coliseum. Don't check it out on me. Okay. Uh, what should we do? 
I'm counting on you. Uh, thanks, woman. Thanks. Just thanks. Well then, moving on. Come on, go, 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 go. Wait, this is six. Darn it. I have six on the mind, don't mind me. So another challenge, hee hee. This must be love and action, huh? I guess. Let's use the curative set again. This is Miss Puffy's elite guard. This is probably gonna be say the same thing. Miss Puffy daughter calls the same mother has spared no expense the power of her personal guard. Let's give them a big hand, people. Come on, I can't hear you. Their challenger is right, Kubo Cross says these two teams are destined to be rivals from the very start. My heart's pounding to her thought of this match. Who will Sm who will face my upon this time? Probably me, because, you know, I'm awesome. And under-leveled for the final area. Oh god, this is gonna be painful. I'm not looking forward to it at all. So anyways, now we have a couple of skeletons and a couple of turtles. And apparently Miracle does not want to change targets on their own. Hey, at least good news- Ow, oh, never mind. Oh, there's a co there's some kobolds here, too. That's cool. Get back here. I'm not done with you. Hi. You're the captain, huh? Cool. I'm still gonna kill you because look at you. You're dying. And I'm, you know, doing the wrong thing. See? We won. No problem. Oh, hey, hey. Remy leveled up. Cool. Too bad she doesn't have an awesome, super really awesome movie yet. When I love. It's all over! Killer Crest is Mertic Tars, Fear of Humor. This movie's me. Blah, blah, blah. Is the motion in the pop position? How far can they climb before they get set back? Yeah. Okay. Nice work. Now you've received your little confession of love on the battlefield. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Uh um, Whatever you say, lady. Whatever you say. Uh, let's go back and talk to Miss Puffy! Yay! Okay, not walk into the wall. That would be preferable. It really would be preferable. Okay, hi, we're back! We're back. Back. Hi. Hi. Hmm. Hmm. And you call yourself a grown-up. Does defeating me give you pleasure in some twisted fashion being a vulnerable child? How can you find it in yourself to do that? Hmm. I, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to torment you or anything. Ha. Well, I'm a grown-up. I can deal with this. I suppose I'll overlook your childish behavior this time. Um. Okay. This is my father cooperates with me. The crown is mine. What is so far away, though? She wants her father. Wait, wait. Father is not the champion? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. So anyways, what I'm going to do now is I am going to go show off the spots where you can farm the items for funeral bouquets. Which you need a blue rose, you need um, dendrobium, I think, or something like that. Yeah, dendrobium and a velvet ribbon. Thankfully, the velvet ribbon is just a buy item, so that's the easy part. The hard part is getting the dendrobium and the blue rose. So here on ta here on nah, here on Tazra, here on Roke is the dendrobium. I thought it was the blue sea, but it, I was mistaken. It's the dendrobium. And you can get it either outside of um, Tatroy or outside of Trop. However, the Trop ones are very annoying to get unless you've actually uh, made it so you can uh, cross the quicksand, no problem. In other words, the quicksand isn't there anymore, it's just desert. Which is a future side quest, however, it's not what I'm going to be doing right now. So, um... Basically, that limits me to outside Tatroy, which is fine. There's, uh, there's several spots out here. 
So I don't know why I walked right past the one outside of Tetra right outside of Tetra, but we have to go back there anyway to use the teleport. So anyways, as I said, we can use this. you can do this, and we don't get uh, really helpful to have make sure Raimi is at um, max harvesting, and yeah, because that's your that's what you need for this is max harvesting. And also, I did off-screen skill boost myself, but I'm sure you guys can forgive me for that. It wasn't really anything major. It was just me actually getting myself a bit more up to par. Here we go. And screw off, Cobalt. Give me a- Oh my god. I'm not getting Dendrobium. So anyways, what you need for this is... I'm pretty sure there's another- there's a hidden one here, but I'm too darn lazy to find it. So yeah, you need- Hold on, let me find my list. If I can get to it. Jeez. You need 7 Dendrobians, 14 Blue Roses, and 7 Velvet Ribbons. Remember, the Velvet Ribbons are a buy item. You can buy them on EN2, which I will show you whenever I get there. I just have to get back to this other harvesting spot so I can harvest it real quick. And then we can have for EN2. And the Blue Rose is also on EN2, thankfully. Oh god, we aren't getting dendro Dendrobium. Pers assuming the guide was right and it actually is out here. The guide might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen it out here. It's just like a really rare item. So anyways, what you want to do is go to the and go to Centropolis. Not the elevator, or else you'll have to climb your way. Or, yeah, make your way down here. Because you have to go here anyway. So, where you need to go is into the shopping arena and buy over here and talk to this person. Because it should be, yes, this is the right shop. You want to buy seven velvet ribbons because that is how many you will need for these funeral bouquets. And you can buy other stuff if you want. I'm not going to. I'm actually going to buy some guitar parts, though. But, yeah. And after that, head outside here. This is all going to be one video, I believe. Because, yeah. Head outside here and head in here. And we will head back out to the sanctuary. Thankfully, with a nice little shortcut. That they were so kind to open for us. Sadly, Sanctuary is still a pain in the ass. Yeah. Because as you can see, our buddies are still out here. One other thing you can also do out here is... If Maricode Ornithology... Oh god, no. I need more than that. Stupid... Skill. Um, I'm actually gonna... Oh, it is boosted. If you have a max Ornithology on Maricol... And you kill the Synards, you have a, like, stupidly low chance of getting an item from them that is used for a quest. But when I'm talking stupidly low, I mean about... Trapezohedron stupidly low chance of getting... Yeah, it's pretty bad. And by Trapezohedron, I, I of course mean the one in, um... Final Fantasy XIII. But... Yeah. And... Hold on. <sighs> okay. Let's continue killing these things. And apparently my mom thinks that just because my game is on a pause that I can hear her. No, my sound's on my headphones. Anyways, yeah. If you kill these, you have like a stupidly low chance of getting a Synard egg, which is used for a quest. Which, yeah, if you want all the do all the quests in the game, you need to get it. And it really sucks to get, trust me. It sucked on the Xbox version, it sucks on the PS3 version. And I think the easiest way to get it is... I'm just getting these uh, mining spots because I'm here. The easiest way to get it, I believe, is with... Um, having a Lion back attack you, you have a chance... Oh, <coughs> my voice is dying, holy crap. You have a chance of getting... OMG, I'm getting like nothing here, but yeah, this is where you do get them. You have a... Um... Crap. I forgot what I was saying now. Dang it. Um... 
something about a chance, and I, now I don't remember. Ah, I don't know. We can use this. I don't know. Oh my god. This is getting really stupid. Oh, hey. Okay, right. This is what I was talking about. If you get a back attack with these, you have a chance of getting two early sign arts. Yes, that sounds as painful as you think it is. But it, of course, increases your chance of getting a sign art egg because you're fighting two of them with a stupidly low chance versus fighting one of them with a stupidly low chance. Ow. Oh, fine, we'll kill the curse war. Jeez. Yeah, that's basically like the gist of it. It's like, ugh, it's a pain in the butt. But what can you do, I guess? Anyway, oh yes! Also, Happy New Year, everyone, if I haven't said it already. Hope everyone is, um, had a good 2011. 2000, well, 2012 is gonna be great, hopefully. I mean, Final Fantasy 13 2 is coming out. That's gonna be awesome. It's like a month away! Or, it's, yeah, it's the end of this month! Well, actually, I'm recording this on December 31st, but yeah, it's the end of the month from when this is being put up. It's like, yay! And I'm getting the guide and the game, the collector's edition of both, and it's like, yes, awesome birthday present. Because it actually comes out, like, four days after my birthday. Both of them do. So it's, like, really awesomely timed. Yay! So happy that I'm getting them. And, of course, we get nothing, but... <clears throat> I'm gonna go hit up the last harvesting... Spot! Oh, God. Oh, found a hidden harvesting spot! Fancy that! That is not the right thing. You need a blue rose. Oh my gosh. They do exist, people, I promise. I'm not making shit up here. They do exist. I didn't know the harvesting spot was there. That's cool. But, yeah. Um. Oh yeah, that was the last harvesting spot. Eh. Funny I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna go for the last harvesting spot. Anyways, in the next part, we will be crafting because I'm gonna continue to farm these stupid things off screen and yeah I, like I said happy new year everyone um 2012 is gonna be great and all that stuff so yeah hope everyone has uh had a good new year's eve hope no one got too drunk and <laughs> I won't be I just have a bottle of wine a big bottle of wine but that's all I have I don't have anything big. Anyways, yeah. I love you all. Thank you all for watching. And bye.